What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Just had an idea kind of pop into my head that I want to run with. Um, comparing two of my favorite players in their respective sports versus how they are as uh, analysts, which is their present role. And, uh, you know, Jeremy Roenick and Sir Charles Barkley. Uh, I love both of them. Obviously, Jay off, fellow mass hole like me. Um, you know, played the game hard, played the game right, and Sir Charles, you know, uh, dominated the glass in the NBA, you know, despite being, you know, five, six inches shorter than your average NBA big man. Um, you know, I rebounded a few times and had a scrappiness and a personality that was uh, all his own. And uh, Jay, I was like, Jay, I was like that too. You know, he could fight, he could hit. Um, you know, was tenacious on the four check and could really uh, be hard to play against and still put up great offensive numbers. You know, perennially. And, uh, you know, and the one line is from J.R. were always uh, pretty good. You know, what was it? I wonder where Patrick was in uh, game three. I think he was getting his jock out of the United Center's drafts or, uh, you know, stuff like that. And you, you, you really could, you really didn't have to wonder, and you still don't have to wonder what Jeremy Roenick's thinking. I think it's the same thing with Charles. Uh, I love the NBA on TNT. I really do. I think him, Kenny Jeff Smith, and uh, the great Shaquille O'Neal, another great personality that was, uh, it's all his own. Um, you know, constitute the best broadcasting team in sports for in terms of entertainment value, which is uh, what sports is at the end of the day. But, um, you know, I think one sad comparison, I mean, not sad, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, but uh, <clears throat> neither Charles or Ronick won rings in their respective sports, and at the end of their career, both of them were looking for, went looking for them. Uh, J.I. going to San Jose, and uh, Charles going to Phoenix from Philly, and then you know, later on to Houston. And I'll tell the comparison between the two of them. They both played for team. Charles was obviously great with the Sixers and with the Suns, and obviously Trey I played for fit the Flyers and uh, Coyotes, so they got the Phoenix and uh, Philly connections there. And, uh, you know, two great markets for sports. And they both went far in the playoffs with, I mean, Jay I went to Game 7 of the Conference Finals in uh, 2004 against thing. But I digress. Both of them, you know, won medals at the Olympics. Uh, obviously, Charles on the Dream Team and Jeremy Roenick on the uh, 2002 silver medal winning U.S. Olympic Team, uh, Salt Lake City. But um, you know, back to the analyst point of view, you know, Charles will drop some bombs. Charles won't speak this way. You go, Charles, what do you think? And Jr. Uh, uh, is the same way. You know, just tell it like it is. And I think that they're both great ambassadors of their respective sports. You know, um, Jr. exemplifies what it's like to be, you know, U.S. hockey player to come from Massachusetts, go from their academy to the Quebec Major Junior League, to the Chicago Blackhawks, and, you know, set an example that, you know, I was growing up on youth hockey, I wanted to be like Jeremy Roenick, and, you know, though it, it didn't work out in terms of me going to the National Hockey League or anything, um, you know, the fact that I could have someone like that to, to look up to, to idolize, who came from a similar background as me, same state, same, you know, skated on the same ranks I did, um, you know, it was really good, and I think, uh, you know, I, I think that's, can't put a price tag on that, so to speak. And I love watching them on Versus now, NBC Sports Network, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, now doing this gig that I got, you know, it's something to, to measure up to, you know. And I think who better to follow in their footsteps than Jeremy Roenick. And, um, you know, Charles is like that too, you know, just the, the great personality and, uh, you know, really, the entertainment value. Like I said, sports is entertainment. You turn it on to be entertained. Charles on Titania and uh, Jay Owell too, just in terms of what they bring to the table that uh, not a lot of people, not a lot of people do. You know, they both tell it like it is. You don't tell, like I said, wonder what either one of them's thinking. And uh, you know, going forward, I, I love watching both of them. You know, Thursday night NBA on TNT. You know, now with the playoffs, you know, every night NBC Sports has got games on, and Roenick will give it his uh, two cents. And um, you know, may not always be the popular opinion, but if it's, you got to they stay their own opinion and. They are not afraid to be trendsetters, so that's why I tip my hat to Charles and uh, Jeremy Roenick, you know, for being great ambassadors and being great analysts in addition to being great players. It's too bad neither one could get a ring, but, uh, you know, what they do for the fans is uh, goes way beyond championships, goals, assists, or rebounds. So um, that's it this episode of the Power Play with CJ, comparing JR and uh, Sarah Charles. Stay tuned for more episodes toward the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.